I chewed my mom's Apple computer cord and she had to pay $119 to replace it. Hey guys, it is Thursday around noon. The days are so messed up for me since I've been treating this middle of the week like a weekend. This is kind of like my Sunday today. I'm going to be cleaning the house, tidying things up, and I want to start some planning for my next art channel video. Well, I mean, I don't know if it's going to be the next one. I shouldn't say that because I always end up doing stuff out of order, but the switch customization, that's what I'm going to look into and decide exactly how I'm going to do it. Am, am I going to use all paint? Are some areas going to be like a sticker applied to the switch? What am I doing? If I am going to do one method, what do I need to do to seal it or prime it or whatever? Like there's a lot of research I got to do. So that's what I want to do. I've been itching to do that, but I also really want to play more Animal Crossing. I want to do 10 million things at once. I've cleaned up the kitchen, washed all the dishes and whatnot. And okay, it's looking all dirty again. I cleaned the floors. Not every room, like my art room and warehouse, need to be cleaned before I can vacuum them, but I did everywhere else in the basement. Christian's gonna flatten all this and deal with that. I guess this needs to go downstairs too. Christian got a new sword. Whoa. Whoa. I love stuff that's ornate like that. Did I vacuum your rug? Is it time to get some new fur all over it? Christian's working. I want to show the screens. I'm going to shower before I continue cleaning because I just feel gross. I just want to feel clean. After I showered, I just laid in bed for an hour on my phone. <laughs> I had to re-wet my hair because it dried all crazy. Let's take a look at this disaster of a room right now. Mm-hmm. This is a lot of packaging from the Onadol, so that won't be too time consuming to clean up. But I also want to unbox her. And this doll was released in 2013. Yo. She old. I need to undo all the ties and stuff on here. This is also one of 2,500. They did smaller edition sizes back then. Like, for example, the Queen, Anna, and the white dress Elsa, they were... Well, Elsa was one of 8,500 and Anna was one of 8,000. That's still pretty huge, though, compared to most doll releases. I feel like a lot of them are around 5,000. It varies. Like my Beauty and the Beast Platinum set, the yellow one that's not unboxed, that's up on top of my display case, that's one of 500. So sometimes they do rarer ones like that, too. And she's out. Ta da! Hee hee hee. I always thought her hairstyle was an interesting choice for this doll because that's not how it's styled in the movie, but it's still really beautiful. She has a different face sculpt than the newer dolls, too. It's interesting to see how they've changed over time. Oh, somebody found a little, little twist tie. Oh, this keeps going out of focus. What's going on? I just love the lace at the bottom, the embroidery on here, and the little gemstones, and just the folds of her dress. Oh yeah. And she's got this soft velvety fabric here. Look at this hairdo. He's just going wild in the background. <laughs> My camera's struggling to focus on the doll. Oh, some of these are pinned together. I see. Do I leave it like that? See, now I'm torn. Because it could be a little poofier if I undo the stitches. Maybe I'll do a test one in the back. Undo one of the back ones and see. Well, these already look different in the back. Yoink. Ooh. I think I'm going to free the dress. Free the dress! 
It's also attached to her lacy layer too. They do like this so that everything stays super intact in the box. And then if you unbox them, it's up to you to decide how far you want to go with undoing that stuff. So here's the before. And here is the after. Her dress is more poofy. It flares out of the bottom instead of kind of tucking back in. Look how free her dress is. Ugh! Yes. I'm doing some rearranging to make room for the new doll. And with Belle, I undid a bit of her Velcro on her back and pulled her sleeves down. Look how much better this looks compared to how it normally looks. I mean, I didn't do a before shot. Let's, let's do the before. Normally it looks like a t-shirt like that. Just bringing the sleeves down off the shoulders makes it so much more elegant, especially since she doesn't have her gloves either in the live action. Her a whole outfit just looks, looks way more casual. This doll's weird in general because it's a live action one. They're always a little creepy because their heads are so huge, yet their facial features are a little more realistic. <laughs> Like it makes sense for one like this because that's sort of their proportions in the movie. They have very doll-like proportions. This, a little bit weird. But man, just putting the sleeves down and pulling some of her hair forward like this makes it look so much better already. It'd be nice to make some further modifications eventually. Like this doll doesn't have the layers her dress has. Like it has longer layers instead of the shorter layers it has in the movie because they changed the dress design kind of late and so a lot of merchandise was made incorrectly because it was made before the changes. So that's something that would be nice to do someday, but I'm like, when am I gonna do that? When? I don't know. Never? But yeah, just that one little fix makes me like this doll a lot more. Up there is the animated version. And there's Snow White. And here's Anna beside Elsa. Hee <laughs> hee. I like how where she's positioned you can see a good chunk of her dress like she's right between these two dolls and then the frozen two ones down here <laughs> and there's more frozen two ones over there <laughs> I have a lot of frozen dolls I'm just really glad I have another Anna because I had a lot of Elsa's <laughs> oh no how am I supposed to clean this up now there's a little baby in there it kicks okay, I'm not actually painting well. my switch, and just the dock and Joy-Cons, so I don't really need this here. part of the info, but it's still interesting. You just pry back on that, that just pops right off. And you have to okay, I will not be painting out. the back of my don't switch like this guy, so I do not need to do this part, but it's still interesting. So Here's my Pikachu and Eevee switch. So, yeah, I might do like something removable like a sticker yeah. around the screen. I'm undecided. I kind of want to just leave this as is. It's got this pattern on the back. So I don't really want to touch the switch itself. It was more like I want to do the dock and one of the Joy-Cons. So there's this sort of yellowy brown Joy-Con, which is the Eevee one. Then there's a yellow one, which is the Pikachu one. I want to leave the Pikachu one yellow. Sorry, everything's crummy and gross. Ugh, anyway. <laughs> and I'm going to spray paint the other one, I think. But I just don't... You guys sort of started making me think about not painting over the Eevee one. Not because of its value, though, but just to have various colored Joy-Cons. I didn't want to buy new ones for this, but I think I just will. If I get the red and blue set, then the extra Joy-Con I have will be a new color. I don't want to paint our gray one because it's got the the drift issue and I need to send it to Nintendo and I don't want to send a spray painted Joy-Con. I think that would void my warranty. So. You can also buy just shells for the Joy-Cons. It's third party, but you can replace just the shell, which would be a lot cheaper. I'd be spending about $26 instead of a hundred. So I think I'm not gonna have this video done as soon as I thought because some stuff's gonna take a while to come in. I'm looking now at pink Joy-Con shells on the American Amazon. I cannot find these on the Canadian one, but they're on the American one. I'm also looking at swapping out buttons and there are some on the Canadian Amazon, but there are some on eBay that includes swapping out like your home button and stuff like that because a lot of them you just change your A, B, X, Y and then the D-pad. It doesn't change the other buttons. And so I found some that do change the other buttons, but they're missing the shoulder buttons. And there's some that have shoulder buttons, but not like the home menu buttons. It's, it's a whole thing. If I want like a full set, I'm gonna have to do a lot. Also, there's people who have swapped out for gold, like on their basic Joy-Cons. Look at this. 
I really want these just for our regular gray ones. Like I'm gonna have to send my gray one in to get fixed first and then I can DIY it. That'll not be for a video, that'll just be for fun. But that's an option because look how cool that looks. It really spruces up the basic ones. It even has these buttons. So since a lot of this stuff will take a while to come in, I can't actually work on it for probably like a month. I mean, I don't know. I haven't ordered the stuff yet. I haven't decided exactly what I want, but yeah, some of this stuff does take a very long time to ship. So yeah, we'll see, we'll see. I wanna make sure it's right, you know? I don't wanna just get stuff I can get shipped to me quicker just for the sake of it being done sooner. I, I wanna do it right and take my time with it. Mm, look at this shade of blue, ooh baby. So I did end up finding the pink Joy-Con shells on the Canadian Amazon. We'll see what shipping times are gonna be. Like everything has a really far estimate. It's like everything says delivery by April 23rd. And I think that's just because the way the world is right now, there's just, things might take longer to ship, right? Update, I made a little design, bought the stuff I need. Some stuff's gonna take a little longer to arrive than I would like, but that's fine. I would rather get what I truly want and wait a bit longer. So yeah, it's all ordered. I decided to not buy a new set of Joy-Cons because I'm gonna have to modify the yellow one anyway, so why not also modify the Eevee one? I'm gonna be getting a pink shell and there are white grippies and I'm changing out the buttons. There's gonna be blue for these ones and then the little buttons are gonna be white. Same over here. I'm unsure if I wanna do some kind of sticker on the front of the Switch still. I still don't know. I played around with lots of different things. Like I tried adding just blue. I could do the same star pattern on it. I also played around with making like this half of it yellow, this half pink. It could even just be white. I don't know. If I do a sticker for that though, it would be kind of hard to perfectly color match the blue of the dock because I think the dock is gonna be all paint. Well, I would use my Cricut to cut out a little sticker to stick on for the Switch logo, I think. But then I'm like, well, do I even want this Switch logo on there? Because I could eliminate it and do something else with this. I don't even know if I'm 100% sold on the stars. I might do something else. I don't know, I feel like the stars are maybe just a little too corny, <laughs> but I want something interesting. So this is like my first step. I know I want it like this, I just don't know if I'm gonna have a sticker on the actual switch and I don't know if these are gonna be stars or not. I could even do something that's like moon and stars maybe. I'll think about it a little bit more. I've got some time since I have to wait for the different parts to come in. I was gonna clean and then deal with that, but I have not cleaned yet. I just went straight to the, the switch thing because I was very excited about it. <laughs> There was a Nintendo Direct today, and there's an update to Ring Fit Adventure. There's a rhythm game mode where you have to, like, there's many different things you have to do, but you have to, for example, push in the ring and, like, aim at different things as they're flying at you. I'm very intrigued. I am super excited. That update's out now, so tomorrow morning when I do my workout stream, I'm going to try that out. So I should probably at least clear some room, at least move these boxes. I do want to play a little bit of Animal Crossing tonight too, and it's already, <laughs> it's 8.30. I thought it was 7.30. It probably was the last time I checked. I've been spending a lot of time on this Switch thing, researching and playing around with things. I was unsure if I wanted to include blue in the color scheme because I thought just yellow and pink and white would be nice to keep it a little more simplified, but the blue looks so good against the Eevee and the Pikachu. Because if there's the other colors, they just kind of blend in too much. I played around with many things, many patterns. <laughs> the blue is what I want. So yeah, anyway, uh, let's put away these boxes so I have room to play Ring Fit in the morning. <laughs> I'm pausing now because I'm like, hmm. I'm tempted to keep large boxes because I can use them for future chit chat runs for when I have boxes to bring because it's nice to be able to just drop off the box and leave it instead of using my plastic containers that's been so nice with the cardboard mailers I've been using but once I back to boxes they take up so much space so I might want to hang on to this I'm still gonna flatten it though because it's thick like it's just gonna take up a lot of space the way it is so I'll flatten it and save it It's in rough shape, but that's all right.
One thing I might do instead of the stars is flowers. That was one of my original ideas. So I might visit that as well. Test that out. It just might look a little more sophisticated than the stars. And I just love flowers. Oh, I love stars too. <laughs> Midna still does not like the treat balls. I help her get a few, but then when you're on your own, you gotta learn to do it yourself. But I also just don't want Kiki to get them all. That's too many treats for one baby. Look. Look. She does not want to work for it. all just came out. Quick, go before Kiki gets them. More about this switch mod. Since the buttons are blue, I want to wait for the buttons to arrive before I start painting the dock so I can match the blue. But the buttons are going to be one of the last things to get here. Maybe. It's one of the ones with a longer shipping estimate, so I'll have to wait a bit. And I'm hoping that the pink case for the Joy-Con is the the shade of pink I want. Like it looks really good in the picture. As long as it falls within a certain range of pink, I'll accept it. <laughs> Cause I really don't want to have to spray paint it. Cause then it can get chipped and stuff, right? So we'll see. I do still have the same pink spray paint that I used for my painting trolley thing. This, I still have some of this pink spray paint. So mm, that's a beautiful color. Oh yeah. So yeah, that's a backup plan if I don't like the pink that it comes with. <laughs> I really want to start another oil painting soon. It's been physically paining me to look at this cart. Oh, so many things I want to do. <laughs> All in due time. Got some cute new wallpaper. Blue with gold hearts. It's not going to stay in this room, but just bought it kind of for later maybe. And then I bought this one, Green Blossoming Wall. It doesn't match what I have in here, but And my room just expanded, so all my furniture needs to be moved. I'm doing a trick where you, you pretty much just clear everything out from an island so that it's almost empty. And you'll get a lot of tarantula spawns because you've removed the spawn points for so many other bug types. So I'm stacking up on tarantulas. This was the bamboo island originally. Alrighty, I'm heading to bed. I caught a lot of tarantulas. I didn't sell them yet though because it's after hours for the store and so if you put your items in the drop box you only get 80% of the revenue. So I'm going to wait and sell them tomorrow during the day. Because I do have Nook's Cranny now as of today and the museum. Anywho, that is it for this vlog, so thanks for watching, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Gub of each, and then my tree made fruit today, so I want to plant some more. <laughs> Corona time! <laughs> oh my god! Oh, and Jacob's got, I just realized you have your letter sweater on. <laughs> Did you just put that on, or were you wearing that the whole time? Oh my god. Do you like guys like Jacob's letter sweater? Oh, Dee's peep just said it. Is Jacob wearing 